Hello beautiful Pisces. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Donna Wilder Hearts, Irish Donna Tarot Channel. So this is a tarot scope for the month of October. Welcome to all new visitors and welcome back to those who have subscribed. We have your overall look for this month for October is a higher view. Taking, looking at things from a much higher perspective, looking at things for the long haul. We also get you in this Eagle King, the big picture, angelic help is coming through for you, Pisces. So something unexpected is happening. We also see the energy of, you know, in life you've had to wear many masks and you are absolutely unwilling to do that. You want to be your most authentic self at this time. And going forward, you know, we all have to sort of make do, what is it, make peace, get along, that sort of energy. And now what you're finding here is as the month of October comes around, you are very much resonating only as you. You're not bending over backwards to really accommodate people. You know, you feel as though what's yours is yours and can't be taken from you. The fairy of growth, the speaker of truth, and the green woman are your energies Pisces so you definitely are taking off your mask you're looking at things from a higher perspective and you want a very organic honest lifestyle where you don't have to play any politics you can just be who you are and life becomes much simpler with that energy as the month opens we see that you're you're in this energy of the devil in your work life you're ready for a change, but you're not quite set up for it yet. I feel as though you're putting off quitting a particular job or leaving a job specifically or making a major change because you want stability. And as the month goes on, you're, you're getting stability. So you're just holding on for the, to the status quo uh, for the time being. Your partner, if you have a partner or a significant love interest, business partner, this can be friends. It's whoever really supports you closely in your life, but I will read it as a marital partner, significant party with whom you are engaged. You have marriage energy. So 10 of cups, happily ever after. Your partner is right there in it with you to win it. They feel very happy in the relationship. They're very happy in their circumstances, but they're also very supportive of you in the situation that you want to change within the realm of living a good life. When we look at your money, it looks like you may have an inheritance. This is a legacy card of money. Seven of Cups says that you're not quite sure how you're going to spend it. Since we have the Seven of Cups, that is the energy of Scorpio. So it looks as though somebody may be gifting you money so that you can go on to higher education because I see the card of the Eight of Pentacles here in the Hanged Man. Like going back to school, leveling up. Your partner is feeling very much like they're losing a piece of their relationship with you. Um, I get the energy two of cups. They're very much in love with you. We have three, three marriage cards right here. So whatever relationships you're having or enjoying are very serious and very supportive. But your partner looks as though they're not really sleeping well. That could be physical. It could be emotional. But they're a bit stressed out about what's happening and the changes that you want to make in your life, they really want to be with you. They want to go through this uh, this transformation period with you, Pisces. The world card is here twice. The world card is here as your, how much you like your neighborhood. Many of you live in a very upscale, a very beautiful uh, international kind of neighborhood where there are people from all around the globe, a lot of ethnicities, a lot of different cultural backgrounds, a lot of different ages. And so when we look at the neighborhood, you look very happy with it. But I do think that you want to live in a bigger house or live in a live in an area where you could possibly have children or have a family. We also see a child here when we look at your fourth house of home, wanting to expand, wanting to go to the next level. In terms of your partner and how they feel about what's going on in their life and within the parameters of your relationship, they are very supportive. They're taking a wait and see 
the attitude. Whatever you want to do, they will be supportive of it. They do look at things from a different perspective. This person is very much a truth speaker and a green woman energy. Somebody who has your love and best interest at heart. When we look at leveling up again in your home life, you know, and everything that makes you feel secure, stable, happy, you you want something more luxurious. You feel as though you've always been very budget-minded, and that's been favorable, and that's been a good thing. But it's time for you to step into this uh, emperor energy, and you feel very firmly that you want something much grander, much nicer, that it's just time to live large. Your person is very much in the energy of just day-to-day -day life, looking at things, you know, from the perspective of your career. They are all for you leveling up in your career, going from a page uh, to the world card again could speak of you going back to college or school or getting a degree or taking a coaching or business course. When we look at your fifth house of romance, what is going on, Pisces? Your person's worried. We see you possibly juggling another alternative uh, for love. This is a house of romance. It's a house of children also. So I think for many of you, there may be, you may be in this sort of limbo period of time in which you're thinking about or considering children or freedom because I get this theme here, a couple of themes here about what you want your life to look like. And so right now, you have a tendency to be inclined towards freedom. Your partner looks as though they want the queen and king of pentacles. They feel that you're a power couple. They feel as though the two of you can have anything that you want, that your hopes and dreams can manifest. It's just a matter of you making that choice. When we look at the choice you actually make, it looks as though you're going to make a head over heart decision. We get the page of swords energy. What we're seeing here is that you do want to make changes that allow for any option. You're not going to close the door on anything right now, Pisces. We see your partner coming in here being very much uh, in control, being a powerhouse and in their career behind the scenes, but we see you desirous of getting out of a rut in which you have been underpaid. And so I see you making that decision when you have landed the pre-empress energy of the nine of coins. When you feel as though you've really achieved your worldly goals, that's when you will feel calm enough to make bigger decisions to level up in a bigger way. So it's a very big turning point for you. I like this energy. It's profoundly good. You have a very supportive environment. You have lots of love around you. And so the choices that you make about what you want in the long term uh, you know, as your life unfolds, it really is time in your estimation to start moving in the direction that you want to be in. You're not fully aware of exactly where it's going to land, but I feel as though your partner and you will come together in this divine partnership. So I'm going to jump over to the love reading for you. And uh, for singles, you know, if it's new love, it'll come in that way. So be right back. Thanks for watching so far. Pisces, when I look at this love reading with the clarifiers, these are the main cards, Lightseer's Tarot, and the clarifiers are Dreaming Way Tarot, so these are the clarifiers. But when I'm looking at this reading, it really appears that you are carrying the energy over from the life path reading of indecision because we have the Seven of Cups right there. So in terms of you and your beloved, the lover that you're with, we have that both of you are feeling as though you want new beginnings. So this is, you've been through enough storms together. You really trust each other. You really love each other. You have been through a lot. The Scorpio King really indicates that the two of you are a well-oiled machine of new beginnings. Look at Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love and with a lot of clarity. Now, you are debating, and I will say friendly debate, you are debating the rigors of the choices that you're about to make as a couple. It looks as though there's a lot of discussion, a lot of very energetic discussion about what the future holds. What do you value? What do you wanna to work toward? 
what's new and we have this Gemini energy so lots of banter it looks very friendly it looks very nice it look you know sometimes it gets uncomfortable as we talk about your goals you are talking about your goals with your person how they view the situation between the two of you well they're willing to go fight you know as, as long as you are on the same page your person is right there super supportive of you when they look and see, when we look and see how your person views you, Pisces, they feel as though you are keeping things to yourself. When we look at the Emperor card, the Emperor is somebody who uh, plays a game of life strategically and that you are looking to throw caution to the winds and leap in and take, take a chance in some area of your life. Your person feels, though, that there may be someone else. You may have told them that when we looked at the life path reading, there may have been some discussion because we had the two of coins and we had the, um, the Sagittarius knight of wands. So your person, Pisces, and their heart space is very, they're feeling very much like you might not choose them. They're feeling like they're waiting from that decision for you, from you, uh, to really determine, you know, their future. So when we look at, you may be dealing with a Leo with whom you've been with. This person is very smart. They're very much in it to win it. Your person wants to make an offer. They want to settle in with you. They want very much to have a future with you. This person has a lot of pride, a lot of dignity. They bring a lot to the table. As we saw, they're very much a staunch supporter. What's going on that is hidden between the two of you is that there have been judgments made by one or both of you and things and words that have been said that cannot be taken back. Spirit is recommending that you not take any action abruptly. There is some sort of truth that needs to come out in this relationship. The Seven of Swords, somebody is not being completely straightforward. Somebody is operating in a way that you know, will be shockingly um, destructive if it comes into the open. So again, when we look at this Seven of Cups, Three of Swords, you know, for some of you, it could be that you have a partner who doesn't know exactly what they want, and they're not really giving you the full scoop of what's going on within their heart space. As the month closes out for October, you are very much enjoying this legacy of love, inheritance. You are getting over a period of time in which a lot of the process of decision making has made you both feel very uncertain in your love relationship. Now, I feel for you, Pisces, you're very comfortable with the process of a lot of change. You know, the person that you're with, though, needs a level of stability. They're a little bit more rigid about what makes them feel comfortable and secure. But the Six of Cups says that most likely you're going to travel to a destiny. You're going to grow old with this person. And as an outcome card, we do have <clears throat> the card of legacy marriage. But right now, everything is basically on hold because it looks as though you're very much uh, looking at the way you need to make money, how you need to direct your life, even within the uh, parameters of this relationship. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are in terms of the page, uh, like the um, Knight of Swords. Let's look at the Knight of Swords. What is going on with this energy for our Pisces friends? What needs to be spoken of in a very direct manner? Aha. Uh -huh. So Pisces, you feel as though many times that you've had to defend yourself, that your person has been very assertive about uh, speaking their goals, what they want. And what we see here is the tower card is coming in twice. You do want you do want to continue with this person. This person wants to continue with you. But there have been things that you haven't shared with each other. See the moon card. The moon card says that there has been some level of um, going along to get along. I don't really see this as being a very objectively 
um, dishonest relationship, what I see this as is, is going along to get along. When you don't know what to say, you tend to say something that's kind, that's supportive, that's loving. And so that has to end. The honesty has to be pretty, pretty intense right now for the two of you to get over to this Ten of Coins. So let's look and see, Pisces, how your person views you with the Page of Wands. What is it that they think you want to do when you throw caution to the winds? Okay, well, good news. Your person thinks that you're calm, cool, steady, that whatever you take a risk on will be something that will be beneficial to your love relationship with them. Why is your person so uncertain? What are What's this card? Two of Swords. Not wanting to deal with the fact that you could choose someone else than them. You know, we see the, the World card clarifying that your person is, you know, if, they will accept obviously anything that you say. But I do get that they're, they're being very aloof with you at this time. They're really not showing you much about what's, what they're, what's going on. Seven of Cups twice, they are so confused. They, were, they feel really at risk. They feel very much, we saw them unable to sleep. Your person really wants that Queen of Pentacles energy. And we saw that in the reading. Your person wants to be able to have a chance to have a big family life, a legacy family life. Why do we have the King of Wands here? Ah, King of Wands coming in towards you, inbound. <laughs> why, why on earth did you feel, both of you feel as though things have been said? Yeah, things were said in haste. It looks as though at an earlier time in your life, you lived a very carefree way that neither of you were real. You were very comfortable being in flux, being on the move. And the truth of the matter is, is that now that that energy of non-commitment is undermining the relationship. Both of you are very much in your head. You're seeking answers. What is the likelihood that a commitment will be made here? Ah, the moon card, there's Cancer. Oh, that is Cancerian energy. You both of you really love each other. And I feel as though you've probably have been together since young adulthood or at some point in your life where there was a lot of change. Okay, so the Ace of Coins, look at that. Spirit is, is advising you to invest in the relationship. You know, change is not easy, uh, that you don't really have to deal with that Seven of Swords. We see the Page of Swords. So what we're seeing here is that there's something that is viewed online, some statement, some post, something that's seen as a revelation. Look at this. The Ace of Cups is clarifying the Five of Cups. Love is reborn twice. It looks as though the two of you really determined that even though you've never made a big commitment, you are on the verge of making it, but you're not in a hurry to do so. Both of you are a little bit uh, just uncomfortable, you know, a little bit uncomfortable, but look at this. You're both in it to win it, equal give and take. You both want to give to the relationship. Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining me. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Leave comments. I answer them. Thank you.